So I'd like to introduce a concept called virtual condition, and I'm going to use a drawing that we saw in Unit 5, the hub. Now, the drawing is very busy here, so I wanted to clear off some of the information so we can concentrate on the relationship between A and B. So remember, I teach you to qualify your datum features. A should have a flatness on it, and then B should be perpendicular within two thousandths relative to A. So what would the tolerance zone look like for this perpendicularity? Perpendicular diameter two. If you could hold the tolerance zone in your hand, what would it look like? A cylinder. And that cylinder, by default, extends the length of the feature as shown. Now that means the axis of the hole can tilt within that cylinder. It could enter the tolerance zone here and exit the tolerance zone there. Now if the axis of the hole were tilted, really the size of the hole would be tilted like this too. Yeah, now if I asked you the question, what size is that hole? You would reply the size of the hole is indicated here, 1 inch 120 to 1 inch 124. Okay, that's the size of the hole, but what I really want to know is what size is that hole when you're looking perfectly perpendicular to datum A? Well, you're not going to see that size anymore. You're going to see something smaller. And that size is what we call the virtual condition. Now, why would we want to know that? Is that's actually what your mating part is seeing. When these two parts go together, it doesn't get to see the size of that hole. It actually gets mounted to the face, so it's going to see the perpendicular size, which we call the virtual condition. And it's a real easy to number to calculate, 1 inch 118. We just take our smallest hole, that's our MMC, 1 inch 120, and then subtract out the geometric tolerance here, is 2,000. And that will arrive at our virtual condition. Since this is a diameter, and this is a diameter, this pops out a diameter as well. Now it's important to note the hole cannot get that small. If you made a hole that small, you get rejected. It's too small. This is the smallest hole minus the perpendicularity, what it appears to look like virtually. Now it really works well with the MMC modifier here. So remember the MMC modifier allows bonus tolerance as the hole gets bigger. Let me remind you of the chart. So at our maximum material condition, 1 inch 120, you're allowed a tolerance zone of 2,000. And what happens when the hole gets bigger? Bonus. So at 1 inch 121, you get 3, then bigger, 4, 5, 6. But notice that our smallest hole minus 2 ends up virtual condition 1 inch 118. 1 inch 121 minus 3 gives you your virtual condition. This minus this, virtual condition. This minus this, virtual condition. So what is virtual condition? It's the single worst case boundary created by the collective effect of your size and your geometric tolerance. And we use this for calculating worst case mating parts to fit together. So in unit two, we talked about size, and that's going to be unrelated to anything else to itself only. Now we're introducing virtual condition, the collective effect of size and your geometric tolerance. Now I'd like to zoom in on that right view there so we could see that a little better. And you've seen me do one now, so let's see if you could do it. What would be the virtual condition of those holes? You should have said 237. Because what we do is we take our smallest hole, which is 247, that's our MMC, subtract out our geometric tolerance, and that gives us our virtual condition 237. Now remember, the hole cannot get that small. The smallest hole we can ever make is 247, but it moves in these different locations. That's what it appears to look like virtually. So let me animate that so you can see that better. These red dots represent the virtual condition on that true position, fixed boundary of 237. Now the holes are bigger. See the holes are 247 to 253. But when those holes are off position 10, that means the holes could be drilled here. But maybe they're drilled here. But they could be here. They might be there. They could be there. They might be there. They could be there. But maybe there, perhaps there. They could be there. They might be there. They could be there. I don't know where it's going to be, but I have to account for that if it's an interchangeable part. So this is my brain thinking that it's just a small hole sitting there at 237. But not really, right? It's just a 247 shifted over, but that's what it appears to look like virtually. So important thing to note here is virtual condition holes appear smaller. You take your smallest hole, you subtract that geometric tolerance. Let's give you more practice here. Let's look at that slot. What would be the virtual condition of that slot? Super easy, right? 300. Because all you do is you take your smallest hole, 305, and subtract out the geometric tolerance. And it's like a hole, it's a slot, but it's a hole, it's an internal feature. So you take your smallest hole, subtract out that geometric tolerance. 
I want to explain the tolerance zone here. Remember when you have no diameter symbol in there, the default tolerance zone goes back to two parallel planes. So if I drew the two parallel planes here five thousandths apart, you're saying the center plane of the slot could be two and a half one way, two and a half the other way, or could be cocked within there. So when you take your two parallel plane feature and give it a two parallel plane tolerance zone, it creates a two parallel plane virtual condition. When we make the tolerance zone the same shape as the feature, it makes it real easy to calculate our tolerances for our mating parts. And a way to combine these is take your size and your geometric tolerance converted to a worst case boundary called virtual condition. So we could do this with any of the other ones as well. If you took another hole here that's not a datum feature and said, what's the virtual condition? Well, pretty easy. Take your smallest hole minus a geometric tolerance. That should give you a virtual condition of 530. Well, next video, we'll look at how a pin works with virtual conditions.